Hello, everybody. Sucrose here. I'm gonna play some more abduction today. Um, I feel like I've forgotten about three different things. Um, definitely want the no hints message on. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and load up our save. Hey, Pale. How you how you doing? Hi, Delvina. Are you sure you want to watch this, or are you just saying hi? I don't want to spoil anything for you. Okay, okay, I thought so. I thought so. So Delvina was saying that she wants to play this herself and she didn't want to have it spoiled, which I think is fair. Uh, even if it is the wrong decision. <clears throat> um... Probably should have done this before we started, but it's not such a big deal. Uh, this will give me a chance to check everything out here. So I noticed that I see the transcoding uh, settings, the quality settings at the bottom of the screen. Um, and I'm curious, it looks like, it looks like Pale, you're probably the only human here at this point. Um, I'm curious if you see quality settings as well uh, at the bottom. If so, let me try something a little different and turn my quality up and hopefully people can transcode if they need to. Uh, you always have them? Well, I think you're lucky because they're not always there. Um, all right, so I'm going to kick up. So, all right, here, let's play this little game, right? So watch the stream. Uh, this is what movement looks like. I'm going to kick settings up. I found out I can actually do this dynamically, like while the stream's going. So let's kick this up to, I don't want to go too high, but let's 2,800. Okay, and um, so now it's, it's actually higher bandwidth and it should be higher quality, but I don't, I don't even know if it's noticeable, but I did it. Just have to remember to turn it back down for the next stream. Okay, so what, what else do I need to think about here? I think we pretty much have things covered. Um, my Twitch emote for subs was approved, but I don't see it yet. But maybe by the end of the stream, um, you'll be able to use the, the Binopus icon. Okay. So last, uh, last time, right at the end of the uh, stream, I figured out how to get on the other side of the bridge. Oh shit, you've got it already. Yep, that's the one. Uh, isn't it beautiful? And don't say no. <laughs> um, so right now you and Joey are the only people who can use that. So that's what makes it special. Um, even if it's not very beautiful. <clears throat> So see that we actually opened that door in there. <laughs> uh, we actually managed to get through that door and come out here and go across the river. It doesn't look like we have a shortcut yet. I don't think there's a nice way to go back to do what I have in mind. So I'm just going to do it again. And we'll see what that what that does. I'm a little, on, on my screen at least, the mouth is a little bit, doesn't stand out against the purple of the, of the face. But, uh, it, like, it needs to be brighter pink. But maybe, maybe it looks better on the web. 
All right, so what I want to do is go to the green. Um, yeah, I want to go to the green world. Okay, so as you may remember, oh, hello. There you go. Um, we want to get up on the wall, so I want to take uh, probably this cemetery exit. Okay. Oh, man. I... So, I'm not exactly sure I figured out everything that we were supposed to do, but I did figure out, you know, enough to get us over here. But there is a big puzzle ahead of us. Uh, oh, shit. This is not the right one. We need to um, go through the house. In theater mode, the contrast makes it look better. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. Um, so I can change them. I'm probably not going to. <laughs> um, just because art is not my thing. Uh, but I was thinking about a sucrose little character. Because sucrose is uh, sugar. It'd be something like a little sugar cube or a sugar... A pile of sugar in a sugar dish or something. I don't know. Something like that. But um, for now, just gonna keep playing games. Alright. So we want to go to the wall. Okay, so to go to the wall we go over here. And I'm kinda I'm kinda thinking I'm trying to want, I'm trying to figure out is there any way we can open up a shortcut for this? And I, and I think the answer is no. Um, there there will be sort of a shortcut and I'll show it to you once we get to that point. But I'm backtracking not just for your sake, but for mine. Okay, so this will bring us to the green planet. Yeah, I think so. Um, I was thinking, like, cute. The cute style. But I, I don't know. Uh, you know, a little sugar cube with glasses or something. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. That's not really my... Really, Nightbot, already? It's not really my thing. Yeah, kind of, maybe, maybe like that. Chip, chip, chibi. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we want to get back to that um, area that had all the freaking teleporters. Crazy area. And... Hopefully, it'll let us uh, do what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's just he's just doing his job. I can't I can't fault him for that. Uh, the problem is he doesn't have very granular settings, so all you can do is set him for uh, like. 5, 10, 20, 40, 60 minutes. I think that's it. And if you start streaming at 5.30, he'll announce at 5.40. It's just how, it's just kind of stupid. All right. Hope I hope I'm remembering all this right. He never replies. Uh, he says a couple things. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh. Whew. For a second there, I was like, I have no idea what, what happened. OK. 
Okay, so we head down. Um, he knows how to tell people the polybridge link. But that's about it. Alright, so Pale, you probably remember this because we spent like five hours on it. But what I, I don't remember if you were here when I managed to get through this room. So if you, if you turn all this into rock, you can come over here and get to this giant maze. You, you, you saw this? Okay. So here's what I realized. This elevator goes down. And we spun it until there was something down here. Um... And this is definitely going to be a puzzle. We're going to have to keep spinning it and, and rearranging these things. I don't... It's going to be crazy, I think. But um, this brings us neat into the tunnels, but a new, a new area into the tunnels. So this is... I think you didn't see this. I think you left before we did this. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now, I was only here for a short time. We, we basically ran for, I don't know, 30 more minutes or something. Um, and I, I wasn't taking a close look at everything, so I'm going to start taking a close look. Don't see anything here. Okay, so then there's a path this way, which goes nowhere. There's a path to the right and to the left. Now. It's much better in comparison to yesterday. Okay, let me bump it up again. I, I want it. I'd like it, like it to be good. Um, just out of curiosity's sake, you know, can we can we get it to good? So I've bumped it up again. Um, if you start buffering or anything, let me know. Wait, what's this? Oh my god. Okay, this is the puzzle. So this is how we rotate these pieces and put them back in the maze. Um, but that let's not, we're not going to do that just just yet. All right, so this brings us can't remember where this brings us. Okay, so here's the door. So, voila! We finally made it on the side of the river. Um, but let me let me check out this other path. I want to I want to kind of refresh my memory. So this, okay, so this brings us into here. So we open this door, um, which it's going to be useful probably in that puzzle because we can basically, we can make it back to the green world. Um, And without teleporting through that uh, that teleporter, so I think that's part of that puzzle. All right, so now we're going to go out on the river. Oh man, I actually had a dream about this game last night. I mean, it wasn't it didn't make a whole lot of sense. It was just um, I think me trying solutions over and over. But. Oh, this is good. All right, so we kind of lucked into this by putting this here right before we did this. 
and bam, I'm on this other side. And I don't think there's a whole lot over here, except for this, which we can't really interact with. And then, of course, this. Um, but I haven't looked over here. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, so that's it. It's just the story. All right, so here, here's where it gets crazy, pal. So hold on to your seat. So, interesting. Okay. So you may recognize this as the the stuff that's outside of the Earth sphere. And there's no teleporter here, so we can't take it back. Um, so I'm going to go to the other side. <laughs> so we managed to get out of the dome. Um, what we had done in stream is we came here, we took a teleporter, it went outside, and then it deposited this in its place. And I, I was curious to see what was here, and that's what we just did. But, uh, but it's nothing, so... That's, that's good in a way because it means we can get across the riverbank pretty easily. Um, but only when the teleporter is on the right side. So we have to go back through. Now how are we gonna how are we gonna do this one? Let, let's figure how many positions there are. I think there's gonna be four. Okay, so there's four positions. Um, and essentially we have to put the right balls in the right holes and rotate them in the correct orientation, which is crazy. Crazy. So we got a hint last night, if I can find it. Also, the planet that we're on is called Soria. The, the Earth, the part of the Earth was put on the Soria. For what it's worth. I, I'm not sure if I can remember that name, but I'm going to try to call it Soria. A lot of stuff we haven't figured out. Hey Miles, how's it going? Welcome back. And thank you for the follow. I didn't, uh, I didn't see it until last night. Yeah, we just started. We just, I'm just retracing my steps to kind of remind us what's going on. Um, okay, here's what I wanted. So I think this was a hint to the... Yeah, a yeah, absolutely perfect. This was the hint for the maze. But I don't... You just started lunch? Uh, I just ate before stream, so... I, I'm going to try not to stream quite as long as I did yesterday. I think that that's too long for the both of us, but... Um, but I, I just keep loving this game. I can't help it. Anyway, I don't really follow this. And I feel like we can solve this without a hint. Famous last words. Um, so I discovered, I just discovered this, this, these buttons, Miles, and um, all right, Bill. Um, Miles, I also, I noticed that this particular stream has um, has the quality settings, and so I decided to bump up 
my own quality. Um, so if you, I would appreciate if you let me know whether you see the quality settings under the gear, just to make sure that everybody sees it. Um, but you should notice that the quality is a bit higher than yesterday. Uh, also, if you start buffering, let me know. Okay, good. You don't always get quality settings. Uh, so I'm hoping that this this looks better. Probably, you know, it's still it's still not going to look great, but maybe my face doesn't look ridiculous. I don't know. Well, I guess my face always looks ridiculous, but uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so the question is, do we want to solve this puzzle or do we want to go exploring? I feel like maybe we should just solve this while we're here. Yeah, I, I really wish I could see it. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hearing some noise. I hope it doesn't come through on stream, but uh, I'm, I'm personally kind of annoyed by noise, and I'm, I have a hard time ignoring it, but I'll do my best. So what we have to do is we have to swap these pieces into the correct slots. And, and we have to rotate them, but we can only rotate them on the other side. Uh, and to swap them, we teleport, we walk to um, whatever, this other, this other sphere that's up here. And then come back through here, rotate, teleport, it's like that, that kind of thing. So. Um, we should figure out what our goal is. Our goal is to be able to walk. Yeah. The, the problem is this noise isn't under my control. It's my neighbor's. Um, so all through the day they've, they've been doing construction and so it's hammers and saws until uh, until 530 and and now it's I, some kind of music um, okay so I want to say that there's there's entrances on each. No, nope, that's not true. Yeah, it sucks. It looks like there's entrances on these two. I don't know if you can see my hands. These two corners. Corners. It is a circle, technically. But anyway, I think that's an entrance. That's an entrance. And then there's an entrance at our feet. Um, and in fact, we can walk in it. Um, and the question is, is it possible to create a path between all three at the same time? I don't know. Not if... Not unless we have... Another piece, I think. I, I wish I knew... Uh, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what circles we have. Um, I should I should probably do this so that you can see it. OK. 
Okay, so uh, all right, I'm gonna create a new I'm gonna open paint and another window. I'm gonna go ahead and Hey Joey, what's up? Okay. So now I'm going to uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. So now we've got another window for paint. Uh, it's time for painting with sucrose. Uh oh. Wow. Paint sucks. Okay. Sorry about that. That was probably very weird. Okay. So we have. A few circles. Can't seem to uh, paste these. I think we have five of them. Uh, 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 uh. This, there, so I feel like there's a there's a hole here where streamers need some software. That <laughs> this early in stream, streamers need some better software to do this stuff. And maybe it exists already, and I just don't know. Um, but all right. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to draw the circles that we have available. Um, so one of them, oh god, it's, it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter, but I feel like the line size should be the same. So that's one circle. Um, we've got one that goes like this, like this. We've got a straight piece. We've got a, another corner. So two of these. Right, and we don't know what's the one back on the uh, first planet. So let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna delete that. So yeah, the shape of these can't change. God, that that would really um, that would really make things crazy. Oh, that's cool. So paint uh, deletes its... Paint deletes its um, toolbar when the window gets too small. Okay, that's, that's fine. Y'all love that, I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna head back to the other side just to figure out what shapes there. I'm, I'm going to do that before I even bother trying to... Yeah, what it, next time it's going to be scissors and glue. And, um, and it's going to be glue sticks too. It's not even going to be like paper glue. Um, so the trick to this, I think, is we can we can use this to go back. Um, and I don't think it messes anything up because as we explored last night in great detail, this all is just shit. So I think we can just take one of these back. The glitter and macaroni. This is the glitter, right?
Okay, so now we've opened this door. We can go through. Whew, for a second there, I was actually a little bit scared. I forgot how this worked. the hell is this? So, okay. It's this, it's, it's, it's this, right? Oops. Um, okay, I need the toolbar. So as far as I can tell, these are the five pieces that we have. I'll get better at paint as we go along, I'm sure. So those are the five pieces that we have, I, I think. Right? The angle is the same. Because if we rotate this, um, yeah, okay, all right. I, I, I just want to make sure we're not making some really stupid mistake, but I'm pretty sure. So we have two right angles, we have two um, 60 degrees, or, uh, yeah, probably 60 degrees, and then one one straight piece, that's it? All right, but no, no, I was wondering if maybe there was like a fork, one with a fork. Okay. We might as well take this one back because I don't really know what pieces we want, and this is just faster. So, this looks like something at a portal. I've, I've, I'm getting a lot of portal vibes from this game. You know, we're shooting between uh, worlds. And whatnot, uh, but definitely these things look very portally. Okay, so far, all the well, the two spheres we've looked at had four doors at the bottom, so um, that's good. Okay, call. Go up. Up. Oh. All right, we got this. So <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is draw the. Uh, the maze body. That might be overkill. But I think I work better with um, pictures than looking at stuff. So I apologize. We need to use a little bit more glitter and uh, glue sticks. All right. So I think what I'll do is, okay, how does that look? So I'm going to move, move these like this. Okay. And uh, this whole thing is a sphere. Luckily, I know how to draw spheres. Uh, 
maybe we'll make it like that. Okay. So there's a there's a door. Let's let's put the circles in first, and we'll do it with a thin line. Okay, that's not a thin line. Give me a thin line. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So then there's one um, up top. There's one down below. There's one on the right. Beautiful. <coughs> that's um. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go back up here. So there's a there's a uh, incoming. There's a loop. There's a hoop. Hoop. Um, it's kind of, okay, got that, this is, this is walkable, we know that's walkable, oh, and of course, this one comes down, and comes in here, yeah? <laughs> I, it's almost childish because it's funny. I, I know that certain people can look at this kind of thing and they see it just like this, but that's not how I see it. But once I put it on paper, it looks so much easier. It looks so much simpler. Um, so now we just need to figure out how to fill these in to get to these, uh, to these pads. Is it possible to get to both at the same time? Let's figure it out. So, for example, um, there's no way to connect these two. Actually, before I, before I do that, let me kind of check myself here. Um, there's definitely an exit to the right, and there has to be an entrance straight in because uh, we've been to it. Okay, good. Okay. OBS. Okay. So that's, um, there's, a, there's no way we can put a piece in this circle that lets us get from here to here. Rotating imaginary, obviously mine is something some people are way better. Some people can't even visualize stuff at all. Yeah, I mean, I think all these are skills that some people have, some people don't. All right. So I'm pretty sure we need a we need a straight piece here because there's no other piece that's useful. Okay, now here, oh that's kind of that's kind of a shame. So it looks like there's no way we can set the maze and go to both exits. Uh, let me check one more thing. Where do we want to go? We actually don't know. Like, it looks like maybe there's a walkway over there. And I guess maybe there's a walkway there. But maybe there's a walkway um, straight ahead, too. Right? Because when we rotate this... It looks like there's a walkway over there, too. So... I think as it stands right now, I can't walk in it. Let's check that assumption. Um, no, sorry, one more. Click, clicky, clicky. 
make it clear. Yeah, see that? So that's, so there are, so, okay. Confirmed. There are three exits. One of them has to be down here for us to get in this. Um, although maybe there's a puzzle later where... where we rotate it so that the three exits are like they are here. Yeah, I, the problem that I have with puzzles like this is I can't really see what we're doing. Um, now, we could go walk around again to try to get to these three bridges and see or at least get vantage points of them to see why we might want to go there. Probably we'll want to go here so that we can walk through the wall. Over there there's a bridge that we could open up. Here? I don't know. Um, so here's what I want to do. Let's forget solving the puzzle completely for now. Um, because I'm pretty sure that we, I'm pretty sure that you can't open up all three exits at the same time. See the far piece that's right there, it can't connect, um, except but forward. Ooh, wait. But we only have one straight piece. So we actually can't connect it directly to this exit either. Um, yeah, you can see my mouse in paint, right? Um, so we can, we can rotate it so that we can enter at any, at any point. Um, and, and I'm thinking we rotate it. So that this is where we are. Okay, so we'll put in a right, a 60, and a right, and we'll be able to walk straight across. I want to get to this bridge because I bet this bridge is a important part of this puzzle. That's, that's one possibility. Um, let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Paint, paint is the shit. So that lets us get, um, whoops. That lets us get straight across. It kills me that there, that there's no solution that lets us open up everything because that means we have to do one thing, investigate, and then come back to this puzzle and re and I that seems awkward to me. Um, but I I don't I don't think I just I don't think there is like let's let's rotate it. Oh, we can see it here, yeah. And it's like um. Uh, you know, thirty degree angle or something. 
and we don't we just don't have that piece maybe we can find that piece later so what we have to ask ourselves is do we want to go straight across and open up the bridge Or do we want to go to the right and go through the wall? Um, there's no way to come in here and go out here because we don't have two straights. Um, but if we wanted to get, if we wanted to do a right angle. We could come in over here. It only goes to the left, but we could do right, 60, straight. Oh, never mind. Yeah, actually, I don't see. Is there is there any else we could do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the other the other possibility is right sixty right and straight. So this one lets us go to the right um, or the left. This one lets us go straight. I. I think we just have to build one of them and, and play with uh, what it gives us. This is this is going to be, um, I think, a lot of work. Alright, well let's um, let's do the let's do the right angle one because I feel like that gives us more options for some reason, but I'm I'm not sure. So we want a straight piece here, that means we need to go back in teleport. Um And then we have to make sure we line it up on the other side properly. So I'm just gonna think I'm gonna do this one this on paper, but it's the same as before. We'll call this north towards the waterfall. And um, we'll see what it looks like on the other side. But right now I've got this um, this piece drawn and then this facing north. So we'll know the orientation. When we get back, oh my god, I feel like this is going to take an hour, but maybe we'll get the maybe we'll get the hang of it. If only we didn't have to go through this tele teleporter. It's just slow. That's not where we wanted to. Um, on the other side right now is the straight piece. <clears throat> so we need to come back through here. Like I said, <laughs> maybe we'll get the hang of this uh, at some point. What do y'all... So I know that, you know, at this point you're probably a little bit spoiled, all of you. And Miles is a lot spoiled. But with that in mind, I can't. I, I'm worried that even if I just ask you questions, you won't be able to help yourselves reveal information. But I'm curious how you all feel about, uh, let's just say, these teleportation puzzles in general. Let's start with that.
I'm curious. They seem pretty crazy to me. Um, it's it's and again it's, it brings me back to uh, Portal. I feel like no one's ever done this before. Oh, we don't know the orientation because we're not teleporting back. I'm going to hope that these panels are in the same orientation. Shit. So te technically we can figure it out, except that uh, these walls aren't straight. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. I think we have to test it. But once we get it right the first time, I mean, once we get it the first time, we'll know for the next times. So I'm just gonna say, um, that in the brown world, I'm gonna hope that. Um, what I'm calling north is the panel and the line is straight. So let's see what uh, the line is the worst piece for this, but uh, you gotta deal with what you've got. I don't think you can make a whole game like Portal in this mechanic. What if, what if, what if the teleporting was instant? I feel like if the teleporting was instant, like in Portal, you you could really make it work. I really should have paid attention to this. This is the this is the actual orientation. Okay, so I messed up. You can just click to rotate these things and swap them. I mean, you still. What if you still had to walk, but the teleportation, like you just you click once on the teleporter. You know, like for me, it's the loading screen that drives me crazy. Um, I I figured this from the opposite orientation, so. Let's um I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate this and, and we're gonna change and see if it's easier to do straight across. Okay, so actually for both of these oh for both of these three of them are the same. Uh, yeah. So we really need the straight piece um, in the in the correct spot. So I'm going to rotate it. So yeah, the mistake that I made was thinking that the big circle was rotated the way that uh, my drawing was. So we're going to put this back on the other side. All right, and I'm going to figure this out. So my north is the waterfall. That's what I'm calling north. Up 
And this um, walking into this um, the straight piece, this Gladys thing is uh, facing away from me. So the Gladys thing is facing north, right? Gladys is facing north. A yin yang symbol. You can see that. Take one piece out of another. It's a little bit like Go, the board game Go. Things are inside of other things and also surrounding them. Okay, so this is how I was oriented. So of course the controls are in a different orientation because they just thought, I guess people really like orientating themselves. Okay. Um, okay, I think I can deal with that. So. Just writing some notes to try to help me remember the orientations. Oops. Okay. So we want to. Eventually put it in like this. But we're not going to go through it. We need to come over here, and we need to rotate it into position. So this isn't going to be so bad. I, I, I feel a lot better now about this, because three of the circles are fixed, and only one of them we have to change when we want to change where we go. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better about this. Probably this is going to take, you know, ten swaps or so. The open door hiding the passage behind it. You can only see when you close the door. Yeah, that's a, it's a really weird door. I like that it's there. I kind of wish there was more behind it though, but maybe there is, and I didn't uh, didn't discover it. Oops. But yeah, because it's it's like very few people are gonna close that door, or even think to that the door could be closed, and so they're not gonna check behind it. Wouldn't this be easier with like walkie-talkies and a couple of people? I guess walkie-talkies wouldn't be able to cross um, cross distances. All right, so I believe that I have it lined up on the other side. So we need to rotate. So based on these diagrams, we need to rotate it so that the um, the middle entrance is is towards us. Really, that surprises me, Miles. That uh, people could get far without realizing they're swapping. I think. Maybe just because of the note that talks about swapping. Um, there's like a note that describes the teleportation. But I guess they don't read, yeah. Alright. 
to make this a little bit quicker, I think quicker, I'm not even sure, I'm going to um, make sure I know the orientations of this piece. So I'm just writing down uh, the shape of it, and then, um, you know, which which side the, the Gladys is facing. I guess may maybe that happened to me because I feel like I realized very quickly that it was swapping but we had read the swapping stuff and I was actually looking to find some place to swap um, all right so in here Gladys is facing to the right okay fantastic so we swap back that'll put the straight piece in the right position I hope But this is just, I don't know, this whole bit with the, this scene transition, it's so fiddly and the, you have to slide the thing down and then you have to press the button, but the button doesn't always press. Whereas when I think about Portal, I think, oh my god, it's just so seamless, it's so, it's so easy, it's so effortless. And that's what makes that game, I think, so beautiful. Okay. Um, now what we're going to want to do is put this in the position oh my god okay so so we're going to do a 180 spin so we're going to want it to come in from the bottom left and go out the right Yeah, we're going to want it to come in from the bottom left and go out the bottom right. I mean, go out the right. That's actually the orientation that it's on now. So we don't have to we don't have to rotate it. Okay. But what we do have to do is go back through the other teleporter and spin it to where we want it. If you click too early, this this doesn't work, and uh, it's just like it feels fiddly. I understand it's charging up. It's just it's just another thing that takes time. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. I just wish it uh, it wasn't so laborious. All right, thank God. So we hit we hit this right. <clears throat> we got a straight shot through. Yeah, I mean, again, I love this game. Everything about it, in terms of the art, in terms of the music, in terms of the puzzles, fantastic. The concepts of the puzzles. It's just, you, you know that feeling when We've solved this puzzle, now we have to execute it, and it's like, uh, I don't really feel like it. But, alright, let's forget about that. So I'm going to spin this um, 180 degrees, and it's going to enter from the bottom left, and it's going to go to the right, and then we'll swap back. Oh, but I didn't. Oh, okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing for this. So this is actually a 60 degree. 
which we don't need. But I don't think there's anything we can do about it. We just have to, this is, this is going to piece the book. This is going to be the piece that's going to be on the other side once the puzzle is ready to play. Um, so I don't have to worry about the orientation. We just we just swap. <coughs> Excuse me. If the game is just puzzles like this, I'm definitely sad. Yeah, I mean, I hope. It's I guess I guess I feel like the game is going to be puzzles like this because I feel like we've spent so much time on this world doing these puzzles, but probably this is the big puzzle in this world, and so it's going to be different, but, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out. Okay, this piece does not matter. I don't give a shit about this piece. It's a uh, six degree, and we don't need it. So instead, we go back up and we rotate in order to get a piece here that we do need to rotate. And I think there's only one more piece. Yeah, pl please. Uh, uh, yeah, I understand, yeah. My guess is that this is the big puzzle of this place because it's going to connect all the, the areas relatively. But guesses that are wrong can be fun. There should be um, a 60, uh, I can't even remember. Let's look at it. I think we may have done this slightly more inefficiently than we could have. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm just going to rotate this to, to get to make it easy for me to think about. This is the orientation that it is on the diagram um, that everybody can see. So we have uh, the straight piece. We have the 60 degree. And we have this set up at least for, for this, this diagram. So, but we need to rotate um, this piece. So that's pretty straightforward. Spin this. Gonna just gonna remember which direction it's in this time. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oops. I, I feel like uh, I'm I'm not the best person to play this game because. I'm just so bad at shapes. All right, Gladys is facing north. And what do we actually want? Uh, 
Um, we want it to look like this, but from from the perspective of this, so it, we need to rotate it so it's uh, left and bottom looking at it. Okay, I think I think I got it. And we swap because there's a shitty piece on the other side. <laughs> oh, you know, I can't help but think back to when I was a little kid. Um, playing games like Myst, I, I had a friend and I, who we played uh, like adventure games, you know, like Sierra games, Space Quest, um, King's Quest. And they, the games were way too hard for us as kids, but maybe we didn't have a whole lot of games. Uh, I have figured it out, Joey, for what it's worth. I think. So, all right, we want to rotate this one. So we're here, looking this way. We want to rotate it so that it's uh, bottom and left. So, yeah, so Space Quest 4, we played the shit out of. And we got pretty far. Um, we got to the mall, and I just remember we spent months at the mall. Okay, so this, I think this is right, and if I'm wrong, um, I never said I was right. But yeah, we just played like the burger game over and over, hoping that if we got enough money, we could buy the software in the store, but the way the game is programmed, the more money you have, the higher the prices are, because it's just like... It's like a joke, like an Easter egg kind of thing. All sorts of stuff. We just, we had no clue how to play games. Um, and, and there was this other game called Inca. Um, and I, I looked it up recently. It didn't seem to be very good. But it was a game a lot like Myst. There were machines that you had to figure out. Okay, let's let's walk across. We did it. These tight walls kind of make me uh, sick. Never played Inca. Watch some game design professionals try to play Space Force 4. Yeah, it's... It, it, once you get to the part where they're chasing you, the cops are chasing you, it's ridiculous. Um... What's this controlling? Oh, it's controlling those gates. So there's another gate behind it. Does this change that at all? Looks like no. Looks like we want to just delete this. So uh, the way this works is it's like one, two, or three, and they're different settings. But I don't know. I assume we just want to open it. Um, but yeah, to get out of the mall, you have to do this crazy like chase thing. Journeyman project? I never. I'm not sure. I know that one. What's that like? Um. The hell. The hell. What's the point of this?
time travel adventure game. Huh. They made Miss 3. I was trying to figure out which of the games um, that are like this that I've played, and I, there's some that I don't even know the names of. I can't even remember. But I definitely played some of the games in these this Mist-like series. Um, some of them made me nauseous, though. All right. So we walk straight through. We open a door. Big whoop. Um, so we can... Oh my god. If we rotate this, then we can walk straight across. The, the thing is, is I'm not entirely sure we can get over there, but maybe we can. Because we got to this ship. Um, but before we do it, I need to, uh, to take a quick break and I'll be back in just a second. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure it was. So Ma said Real Mr. Uru were the only ones who could walk around. Not sure it was a walk around one. I think it might have been a um, scene scene transition one. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I played a lot of the Zork games, and I think I'm getting confused. Because those games had similar um, actors. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, and like Tex Murphy is sort of another one, but a lot, these all had inventories, so they're, I guess they're quite a bit different. Anyway, let's try to, let's try to see if we can get on that platform. Return to Zork. That was another one we played as kids and, um, did not, did not make it. Those games all had this crazy thing where you could like lose the game if you did certain things and you wouldn't know it in Space Quest 4 if you didn't pick up the battery at the beginning of the game you couldn't beat the game at like the fourth act you needed the battery which is just it's just dickish I think they were trying to sell hint guides um alright I I don't know if we can even do what I'm trying to do, but I want to see if we can get on that platform. Because I know there were places where um, we went and I said, oh, what's the point of this? There's nothing to do. So I 
feel like it's that it's that place, but uh, we could walk off the other side. Do, 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 do. Exploring the forest is fun. That's the entrance. So this was the laser ship. Um, there's a lot of stuff over there. Well, as far as I can tell, there's no way to walk there. Which means that the only thing that I know that we have left to do is to rotate the one piece and go um, into the wall. I'm, I'm kind of curious, maybe there's something over here. This is so confusing to me because, all right, that's just a circle. So that's not helping. And I think this is the path that we came up on. And this is the entrance. Okay, so uh, we're going to rotate the piece and go um, to the right into the wall. Yeah, the, the Zork games were crazy, the text ones uh, and the not text ones. I never beat Zork, the original Zork. I, actually, I think I beat it, but following a, a walkthrough, which is kind of like not beating it at all. The lantern? I saw the lantern. Is that what you mean? Or the mailbox? with the letter in it. I don't know, I felt there were a lot of references. Oh. Yeah, the White House with the letter, yeah. Yeah, I was a little, I was like, is this mist or is this Sork? Actually, we spent about uh, 10 minutes trying to do something with the lantern before I realized that um, 
Miss doesn't have an inventory. Oh, Joey, you've got to play the old sort. You have to type in commands like uh, open mailbox, get letter, read letter, drop letter, um, attack grew with knife, dagger. Has anybody ever told you that you'd be you'll be eaten by a grew? So again, just to make this easier myself, just use Linux. <laughs> yeah, but Linux won't, uh, it's not an adventure. Okay. So now this is oriented like it is in paint, the, the, outer, the outer circle. And um, what we need to do is rotate this one like this. It just needs to be rotated once to the left. Oops. Okay. Drawing it. Go down. Capture the flag games via Linux terminal. How does that work? Do you just type in capture flag and you win? All right, I said once to the left, right? Easy peasy. Come on, Gladys. I've got adventuring to do. Actually, I, I kind of wonder if this is an intentional Gladys reference. What if uh, this is the evil race? SSH to a website and log in to a level and you're given a set of instructions. Huh. Interesting. Like um like a hacking game. That looks looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, that was okay, whatever. Not the way I wanted to go, but all right. Now we'll be able to walk to this wall, or we can walk over here. I feel like we should walk over here first because going through walls is crazy. Uh, I have to say I'm a little proud of myself for having having beaten this. I feel like if I were playing this alone, I probably would have either um, cheated 
or given up just because it's too laborious. Okay, so we haven't been in this building. You see the problem is? The beast is trying to kill me. I have weapons. I don't know if I so there's um there's a number that's shining up and certain connections come and go but certain connections are never there so I and then at the very end it all comes together and it stays up for like a few seconds but it's really hard to screenshot that I feel like I'd have to record a video and then just grab that frame. What the hell does that do? What the hell is that? All right, I think that loaded like um, a gondola, maybe. Ah, I'm back. Show me that number, you little bastard. Come on. Can I press the button to show me a number? Yeah, this looks like uh, an amusement park ride. I think they have this at uh, uh, Disneyland, right, Joey? Disney World. So we've... We've opened one of these uh, panels, but the, there's another one that's closed. Now, if this were a Sierra game, we'd get into this and it would smash into that wall and we'd die. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's just not going to let us in. Or... Or no, we're going to smash into a wall and die. to open it up. I don't know where, but that's our goal. That was anticlimactic. Let's see, I'm going to try one more time to get that number. God damn it. I feel like I had a square in the top right corner. Um, maybe, maybe the problem is there's there's actually two numbers. Um, 
the next time we see it, slam, yeah, that would be funny. Um, so there's two grids, and these are the big grids. No, sorry, this is the small grid. I'm um, I'm looking at the screenshots that it took. And so, for example, we have a three in the top right. Maybe these are passcodes that we were supposed to uh, I don't know, this is impossible. Unless I get a screenshot of it, there's no way I'm going to figure this out. Um, all right. I I, uh, I didn't get a clean screenshot. Next time I'll have to pull out my camcorder. I mean, I literally have, I'm literally streaming this. Like, I am recording this. <laughs> uh... It feels a little bit like cheating to use the video, but I guess if, if we get two stuff, I will. It's not I feel like it's not cheating if you if you do it yourself, you know? It'd be cheating if I went on YouTube and pulled up a video. Okay. So now we'll go through the wall. And, you know, maybe this will lead us to how to disable that barrier. I'm just, I'm walking into to walls thinking maybe that's a thing. Uh, can't seem to get over here, even though you can see the wall shimmer. Really? What's up with these areas that are just transition areas? Oh yeah, this is this is where we're going to turn off the barrier. You can see the tracks. Boom shakalaka. I think that's it. So then we go, we just rotate it again. And um, take the tram. Find out where that goes to. Surely success. You'd think there'd be a whole lot of 
little squirrels, halves of squirrels, you know, where they were running around and this this thing cut them in half and just be little halves of squirrels. Or rabbits, you know, forest animals. Just saying. There was that one guy back on the second planet. Bingo, bango. Uh, also, Bob's your uncle. That's what they say in uh, Britain. All right. Where are we going? Fourth planet? Uh, space? Uh, the layer of the necromancer? Um, our own human... Uh, evil somehow manifest. <laughs> to Jurassic Park. Uh, I think I saw the tree there to the left. Uh, what the fuck? Is that laser fire? Welcome to Rapture, too. That was a good game. But the first Bioshock? Welcome to Rapture. I don't know exactly what happened over there, but it seemed like some kind of laser fire. Um... Oh man, we got the we got the big drums. I don't know what they're called, tom toms. A gift shop. <laughs> what if? See, if this were Zork, it actually might be a gift shop. That's kind of their. Um, they have a lot of that ridiculous humor. And then you'd have to buy like a little tchotchke in order to progress through the game. It's weird there's a number missing. So bottom left was the the biggest numbers so this would let you get numbers up to 255 Are these the chambers? I think they've been put into storage, our human companions. Well, they're not really companions, we've never met them, but... Timpani? Boom! Boom! They're so grandiose. Should I put in 212? I, I said you could get up to 256, 255. That, that makes sense. Oh, there's more numbers. Oh, this goes down. This is like uh, the Matrix or whatever. But those, those, are, those numbers are too big.
Um, okay. Let's do a little arithmetic here. We're going after 212. Um, 212 is 64 times 3, which is 196. Uh, is it? 64 times 3. 192, I'm glad I checked. 212 minus um, 192 is 20. 20 is 16 times 1 plus um, 4 times 1. Um, Okay, 64 times 3 is down to the right. Um, Sixteen times one up and to the right. Uh, four is up and to the left. Well, that's that's not what I expected at all. What the hell is this? Oh, he's, he does not look good. I feel like, uh, oh, he's a lizard person. What the hell? I expected it to open 212. What the hell is this? Oh, I can't get up there. Yeah, I, I think each number is a person. Um. So it's 30, 30 is right there, and then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. Forty. <laughs> Why isn't that forty? Why is that three ten? I don't know what we're supposed to do, and I don't know what we did. Uh, I feel like even saying that is a little bit of a spoiler, because it's something. it means there's something I need to figure out. I didn't know that I needed to figure it out until you told me that. I mean, it looks like these. The first number is just the floor. The second number is the uh, the person. Uh, but the the rotation, the angle. Yeah, maybe maybe best not to say anything, Joey. Really. Not. Uh, I have no idea whether it's important or not. I'll I'll just go with that. I'm just gonna try to figure this out. Okay. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I 
that's what that's what uh, that's what you were trying to get me to figure out. Is the floor floor number? Um, gotcha. Yeah, I guess what what's okay. So, don't respond. <laughs> you know, don't don't uh, don't give me any hints, but. I'm just talking out loud, right? Because that's that's what what I do. Um, I I just figured that this pad would have you put in a number and it would open up that chamber, right? Because I only saw these dudes that had three numbers on them, and two twelve is awful strange, you know. It's just sticking out there by itself. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to pull somebody out, or maybe multiple people. But I'm gonna keep looking around first. Oh my God, it's actually a thing, a, pu a person. Wouldn't exactly call it a human. I think these are the so-called lizard people. Can't help you, buddy. I'm not allowed to pick things up in this game. Um. Oh. Oh, it shows you the. Oh, it shows you the code. So if they had just shown me two twenty-two. I'd be pretty happy. But they show you the code. Fuck it. I'm figuring it out without the, without writing down the code. Screw you. Um it's 222, right? So wait, I I thought that would open a door. Oh, look at this. Screenshot that. Um, I just realized that uh, you don't really need that anymore. All right, so we have a code 222, which I will translate. Um, and we have some kind of a like dots. Those are circle. This is a crossword puzzle for really simple language. Turl. There's a name Turl. Poor, poor person.
Farley is 194. So if any, I, I still, I, I don't really know how it works, but um, that that console lets me put in up to two fifty five. Joseph is two twenty two. Oh, Joseph is two twenty two. Huh, that's um suspicious. Wow, I, this could be the hardest puzzle yet. What if we have to, like, by going through this logbook and looking through the notes and looking up their corpses, we have to figure out, like, who's good and who's bad. It's a teleporter. Oh, I want that teleporter. Dude, you're still alive? Um... It'll be okay. Just just close your eyes. Wait, what did this do? I feel like Oh, it's that door. Ha ha ha. I thought it was gonna be this door. Okay. the hell? I want in here. There's got to be goodies in there. Treasure. Oh, please be a shortcut. Please be a shortcut. I think it is. God, why does it do that? I still have no idea how that puzzle works. Just want to put that out there. So here is. Don't panic. Uh, Don't panic. Yeah, this. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just stay on this path. Okay. So now we have access to this without having to go through all the, the maze stuff. So depending on which way we rotate the maze, I think we can get to everything. Uh, without having to teleport. My goodness, this was a treasure, a treasure find, a treasure trove. Is he dead yet? He's still not dead. You get, you get what, Joy? Did the gondola disappear? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't pick up on that either. Yeah, good call. Um. Ooh. 
this this neighbor is killing me here. Also, this is supposed to be over here. Get over there. Oh my god, this guy's this guy's driving me crazy. Alright, I'm gonna take a two minute break. I'll be right back. Okay. So we've opened up a shortcut to this place, which is fantastic because that means it's easy to leave and get back. We've got no gondola though. I feel like it just uh, took off without us. Um, that seems to be the case. So we actually can't get back to the other place from here, which kills my idea about being able to travel anywhere. I still don't know who to trust. I don't know who's good. I feel like I've always felt it's probably nobody. I feel like the people behind Mist, the lesson was everybody is bad. Dude's still, still sucking air. Okay. So we could put in two twenty two, which is Joseph. Or we could put in 194, which is Farley. Or we could put in, you know, um, other people from the village. Farley is really the only person I remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put in Farley's number. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. What species is the dying guy? I want to say he's the lizard people. Um, 
not exactly sure what their name is, but I might have screenshots. So 194 is just uh, 192 plus 2. Um, so it's 3 times 64 plus 2. So 3 times 64 is that. And then um, 2. 2 is just this. It's not 212. Put it 194. So, I don't know exactly what's up with that, but we got uh, Farley. So, I don't, I don't know why this has caught my attention, but she's got this thing on her chest, and it's like red and yellow, and again, it makes me think of the... Um, the thing that was in Yosef's office that glowed red and yellow. Um, I don't think there's any point to that. I can't seem to interact with her or wake her up. Um, also, it said 212 on her thing, but I put in 194. Um, because it's three times sixty four plus two. That pisses me off. I could have made a mistake, but I don't think I did. So let's let's go with the let's go with the hypothesis that it's not a bug. It's not a mistake. So let's see who actually is belongs in 212. Um, so screenshots, OBS, screenshots. Okay, so here's my screenshots. Um, we're going to go back to the Of course, these aren't sorted by number. 222. No, sorry, 212. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, what's her name? Farley. So it's it's code one ninety four, but it's floor two twelve. So we have to use this to look it up. I guess if we want a particular pod, like if if the if the if the thing says 515, it's really 255, 245. I don't, this might be another encoding or it might be random. Um, like these are, these dif differ by one in the floor and there's, it's only one more. You have to, I'd, I'd have to put these into a spreadsheet, I think, and do some sorting. Um, I think they might, it might be an encoding. It might be an encoding. 
And so you could actually get get from the pod number to the floor number or the floor number to the pod number. Anyway, I don't know what we're trying to do, but I want to check out Chavar. We heard a lot about Chavar. Let's pull up Chavar. Chavar's 35. I, I don't know what we're doing. I have no idea what we're doing. But I'm scared of pulling up Farley. I mean, uh, Joseph. Okay, 35. 35 is 16 times 2, right? 32 plus 3. Okay, how can I reset? That's, that's tedious. Okay. Up and to the right. So that's our 16 times 2 plus 3. So this should be Mo uh, Chavar. Chavar. Something. Oh, he's a he's a looker. Or she. Either way. All right, I guess we have to put in Joseph. So far, we have, haven't been able to interact with any pods. Um, he Okay, so the Villain are the lizard people. Um, we, I mean... So I had the screenshots in the other directory. I'm not sure I re-screenshotted. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I re-screenshotted. It was like books that are, that's in Farley's house. Um, we'll grab them. We'll grab them when we go back through. But yeah, so they describe the different races, and um, there's one they said was lizards. There's one they said were normal Homo sapiens. I don't know. There's the bugs. Not Homo sapiens, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, bipeds. What did I? What did I do to OBS? Um, okay. So now we're trying to put in two twenty two. 222 is 64 times 3. Um, and then we need 16 times 1. 3 times 4 plus 2. OBS is messed up. There you go. Gotcha. It's funny because I had the screenshots on, and I thought that's where we were in the game because um, because I'm stupid. All right. Um, Sixty-four times three. Uh, 16 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Three times four. Um, and then two. So this is theoretically Joseph. He looks like a person. I have no idea what the point of this is. Um, other than to tell me, maybe, that Joseph is, is in cryo storage. Yeah, it is pretty spooky. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe the point of this is just to say, hey, look, Joseph is in cryo storage, so he can't be talking to you. Because I can't seem to, like, open this, or there's no there's no note attached to the window. I can't seem to walk up here. I was kind of thinking something would happen up here. Um, the screen doesn't work anymore. Is that on purpose? So either he or she or this 
screen or something open this door. So that looks a lot like Joseph to me. So maybe the point is the Mo Fang are making uh, copies of people. But I mean, we knew that already. So I think we've got a teleporter here. There's the tree. We've also got a teleporter here. Oh. So at the beginning of the game, there's all these posters that say, if you see this, run away. And that's pretty much what it looks like. It opened up, which made me want to click on it. Is it charging? I feel like it's charging. Maybe we shouldn't investigate that. These trees are so hard to get to. Think you think being how important they are. All right, let's let's take this. Oh wait, I can't. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a blue laser. It kind of acts like that other one. I feel like I just destroyed the teleporter, too. I think, I think that's the Mofang. I mean, that's the Mofang's technology, so... Killed this thing. Is that a seed? Oh my god, let's pick it up. Place a puzzle in a desk game. Should the poster said don't look at it, it'll kill you. See oh god almighty. idea what that puzzle is. Still have no idea. But not gonna waste my precious uh, brain cells trying to figure it out.
amino poster. Um, so the real thing, so to be, uh, to be honest, the real thing that made me hesitate was I got a Steam achievement. So I can't, you can't even avoid spoilers uh, from from computers now. The Steam achievement says "close to death" when I walked close to it. So I assume that if I had stayed there and let it charge up, it would have killed me. But I have no idea. Got a tree, though. Uh, well, Miles, I, I hope there's no more... I hope there aren't any more of those cubes, because because now I know how they work. So we got a tree at the very end of last night's session um, in the out, out, outside of the Earth place in the Mojang world. I do not want to know. But you just told me. You just told me what happens, but I do not want to know. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, well, it, I guess it depends on what era. Um, the old uh, the old Sierra games, like Space Quest Four, probably would have just killed you. And then you'd have to reload. Hope you saved. <laughs> um, the new ones... Are nice and they're like why don't you why don't you rethink that action so from the tree we can teleport to any tree that we've opened up which includes um, the so-called earth tree and the, now the mojang tree um, sadly I don't know which is which I, I want to go to Mojang. Okay. Haven't opened blue up. I think Earth is yellow, but... Yeah, I think this is what we want. This is red, right? I can't tell if this is red or yellow. I think it's yellow. Uh, that's blue. How the hell? This is the hardest part. Okay, don't have blue. Here's red. That's definitely red. A hundred percent red. All right. Um, so yeah, so we got uh, we got out here and we got this tree right at the end of the stream and I, I didn't have um, an opportunity to really explore but this is um, this is outside of the sphere in Mojang I don't know exactly don't know if there's anything out here for us to find.
Um, yeah, this is a pretty neat thing because this is actually kind of a mystery. So apparently there's a a large part of like Arizona out here. Hey Just BRB, welcome. How are you doing? Because this isn't this isn't the colony that we started in. This is like some other city that is here. So no idea what that's about. And this place, I think um, Miles called it chocolate pudding or something. Pardoned chocolate pudding. It, everything looks indistinguishable to me. Um, and so I'm kind of not sure if we've been to places. Wish you could sleep more. Are you, are you having trouble sleeping? Uh, I'm doing okay. The land of chocolate? I do not. But I feel like we haven't been here. Oh, this is where we started. So, yeah, we teleported here from... Um, from a room across the riverbank, and and I th I think the idea was they were going to blow up something. Um, we're talking about coming back so that you don't get blown up something something. Uh, so as far as I can tell, the land of chocolate is super boring. There's nothing to do. Chocolate doesn't even taste good. What happened in the Simpsons episode? I don't. I don't. It was a, a Halloween episode. Yeah, I agree. This is it. It. It's so alien looking. Um, Just beer be. It's like really weird, and I believe it. And I believe it's weird. How much dream got a lamb chocolate? Is that the episode where he got really fat and got stuck in the the nuclear exhaust? So I think I, I think I have wandered, and I don't think there's anything here, which is kind of weird. I suppose we'll get to more places later. So let's go back to green. It's actually the episode when Germans took over the nuclear power plant. <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember I remember him wearing a muumuu, -moo, but that's pretty much it. This is very um, sexual, I feel like. Maybe that's just me. So we're back here. We've charged another tree. <clears throat> but we haven't even been to the last planet, I think.
Or is the last planet Mojang? We need to charge the tree in the blue planet. I think that's the... I really want to pick this up. I mean, it's right there. And we can take that seed and we can put it in the one that's missing a seed. <laughs> I see. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I thought I was getting them confused, but I got you. Um, is Germany really the land of chocolate? thought it was Luxembourg or Switzerland or something. I guess Pale should know. Well, it sure is lucky that there's a, uh, a blue laser here, huh? Wait, why is this closed? Was this steam here before? It goes out. No, for real. Why is that door closed? What the fuck? I opened it. I Come on, I opened that door. All the doors were open. How dare you close my doors? For real, that's annoying. Belgium. Belgium chocolate. Um, so some D-bag closed my doors. Chocolate museum? That's just a waste of chocolate. The only chocolate museum that there should be is in my tummy. Open up! I demand uh, audience with the king. God damn it. What's well now? I have literally no idea what to do. I can't even get back to the place where I thought I had stuff to do. Don't panic. This is the best. All right. Our long-term goal is to go to is to start the tree in the um, blue world, the second world. But we've we've never been able to get to the tree, and we don't really know how. And I feel like nothing has changed. I mean, we haven't found any teleporters or anything to get us to a new place. Um, it's been a while since we explored it, but still, nothing's changed. We never opened that up. How do you get there?
All right. So I think these dudes, the dudes who, um, who built the like bridge that I'm standing on, this this people, are the lizard-looking people with the three arms. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. And then the the little bee creatures are native to the blue planet. But I think the blue planet is actually taken from this planet. This maze, um, uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, it did open up a huge area, but like two of the three paths are just for unlocking the third path, which is kind of weird. I'm hoping the bridge is over here that I forgot to unlock. Uh. Okay. No, no biggie. I can do this. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a new strategy here. All, all threes. Really? He did nothing? I, I, I have no, no clue. No clue. <clears throat> All right. All right. So now we've unlocked all the bridges that I've seen, um, which may or may not be useful, but it, it means that like, I feel a lot better about having been everywhere. So I'm going to see if I can get back to the uh, attack site. Looks like we can. Not sure why they made us do this. Why did they close our doors? That seems weird. Stuff doesn't happen without me doing it. So yeah, if you look at the architecture that's on the native planet, like you see all the big uh, sculptures and pillars, I feel like that matches up with what we've been calling the second planet. So that belongs here. This belongs there. Does that mean that Mofang is on Earth? The, the little bit of Mofang that we saw? Wait, what the hell? What the hell? I guess we're not supposed to go there anymore. That's weird. What if I want to look up more people?
So there's the two locked doors, so that opens a different door. I guess we have to head back to the uh, the bee, the bees. Um, but yeah, okay. So if if this place belongs on the so-called second planet, and that place belongs here, then doesn't. Um, and if a bit of Earth is on Mofang, then probably isn't a bit of Mofang on Earth. That's pretty interesting. Which part? The part with the tree. It has to be, right? It has to be the part with the tree, because every everything else is like that. So the place where we just were was actually on Earth. So when we looked out into the distance and saw that city, I think that was real. Where am I going? Where am I going? I mean real. I mean, you know what I mean. It's it's not a teleported city. It's a real city. Where it belongs. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to do, but I think I'm going to go back to the second planet. which I don't think I can get to from this planet. None of it. I'm so confused. Like, that's a sphere for sure. There's so many spheres. There's so many spheres that we don't understand what's on the other side. So, so maybe the point of that was we just saved all the people from, um, you know, the Mofang invasion. And then the doors locked just to make sure they're safe. But I kind of find that unsatisfying.
I'm going to take a little visit to the top of the tower um, before we head over to the second planet. Still haven't figured out how to get there. I mean, we we think it's from something near the sub, but we can't figure out how to do anything with the sub. Um, my current guess is once we fill up all the trees, um, CW will let us over there. Because that's approximately where he lives. don't understand why this is uh, not lit. Oh, it's broken. All right. So here's the names of the planets. I guess. I can't think of anything else to do other than to go to the blue planet and look around, which is uh, almost definitely not a good plan. Um, But I feel like we've gotten everywhere and we've done everything that we've seen in basically the whole game. And it seems very unlikely to me that something's changed on the second planet. But I, I don't know what else um, to do. <clears throat> Here's I keep talking about this. This is what I'm talking about. It's like A face mask? Oh, it's not there. There you go. Look. Maybe it's nothing. That's a hint, Miles. Um, okay. No worries.
I'm feeling pretty confident, though, about my theory that that little bit of Mofang is on Earth. Um, I'm, I'd be surprised if this is the kind of game that actually lets us go back to Earth, but you never know. Alright, we have a lot of experience under our belts. So, as soon as I landed here, I realized we haven't, um, we haven't figured out the, the, the Russian puzzle. Um, I've kind of forgotten where everything goes. So let's do the... Let's walk through the wall if we can get it. Because I don't remember where that goes. Okay, so this was the first, um, the first trolley, uh, gondola, and, um, by moving, yeah, there it is, so by moving the, the gondola across, we moved this gondola here so that it's not blocking anything, and I think that's the whole point of this, so... As far as I can tell, there's uh, there's nothing else to this. I think that was the puzzle. Puzzle solved. Um, don't see anything else around here. No spears, no little magic mystery box. I think that's it. Okay. Can I keep going right with this thing? It's not really sure what this red thing does. Maybe it was blocking us and I just kind of fixed it without even noticing. Okay. Staircase. I don't have a whole lot of ideas about the Russian thing. Other than playing with it, but I, I don't know what the goal is. We did check the sub, and all the sub had were a couple of messages that I did screenshot. Saying something. Okay, yeah, so see how you see trees in the distance? And, um, and this is like gray, rocky, with uh, pillars. I'm, so I'm pretty sure this got swapped with... Uh, that other planet we were the green the green planet somehow we have to get to that tree so this goes to a to a gondola Right, so this is the other side of the gondola we were just at. Okay. I 
I think we've been here. See this pathway? We've actually been there. Okay, Miles. I think we've been here going through the, uh, the nest area. Can we turn this off? If we could turn this off, we could walk through there. I bet that's it. I bet that that is it. <laughs> uh, that's a good question, Jeremy. <clears throat> Maybe... Well, you know, really, it really doesn't make sense. If these are the little bee creatures, or maybe the bee creatures turn into the snake creatures. I don't even. I, we should probably go read up on the Ceno biology. So here's my current plan. I'm gonna turn these gears off, and we're gonna go through the the bee nest, and we're gonna walk through, and save the tree, and save the day. Um. How do we get there? Wait. How do we get here? I'm so confused. Oh, here we go. So there's one species that has like three phases in their life. Um and they start out as those little eggs on the wall, and then they're the bees, and then the third one I'm not entirely sure. Um, how, how did we get over there? Was it just up here? Looks like it. Looks like it. That's why it just lets you undo it. Now, I don't know. Which of these? But if I undo... Oh. Oh. I see. That, so that just connects there. But that goes out. So I'll turn the top one back on. Just because. No, goddamn. It's, it's, it looks like um, it's really simple, but the controls don't work as you expect. God damn it. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's for this. Maybe. And... Let's take a look.
that's for this gondola. And this upper one? Don't know. Maybe we should turn that one off too. So now I'm going to go back through and see if the correct machinery has been turned off. don't really know if it can even be turned off. I don't know. I don't remember what turned it on to begin with, but it kind of looks promising. I think, I think that's it. So now we need to go through the B hive, um, which we should be able to get through the shortcut that we opened earlier. Wow. So this one is kind of crazy. I. I think I only realized that we could turn it off just by talking, just by saying, um, you know, if only we could get through. And it's really funny because we were joking about being able to jump through it because it's big enough. And it is big enough, but it's dangerous. You don't want to go through when it's turned on. I guess that's the idea. Okay, so we go up here. I think, I think this is the shortcut. Good. And we go across, I think. Is this always purple? Take a quick look at this again. See, we could pick up that seed that was on the other planet if we could only pick up things and put it here. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is just to tell us how much we weigh, which is approximately. 163. Okay. Because if you can't teleport, I thought maybe we'd be able to somehow fix it. But maybe it's just information. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we only went here like once or twice, so I'm not sure. This is it. This is fucking it. We did it. We did it. Ah. So this is a new area. We're going into the trees uh, opening. The trees canal. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. All right. We could have done this um we could have done this before. I got an achievement for this called chain my heart. Um
So, we've got all the trees, I think. So, I guess we go back and talk to CW. Which, all we have to do is... Go to the yellow. Which is not red. And he's going to tell us to hook up the battery. And I'm going to still not know what the battery is because he wouldn't repeat his uh, instructions. Why does it always do that blue flash when you come out? All right, here's my prediction. I think CW is going to say, hook up my fucking battery, and I'm going to be like, what, mate? Once we figured that out, um, he's going to say, hey, why don't you come in and take this path to the subway, sub, subway, sub, uh, sub marine, and that'll lead us over to the bleeder, and then we have to do something in the bleeder, and then he's going to, like, blow up the world. That's my guess. Shoot all the ends. And it turns into like Duke Nukem. That would be that would be pretty fun. <laughs> no spoilers, Miles. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, like, it would ruin the game, or it would definitely make it weird. It would be like, uh, I like the first part, but... Such a bad actor. So we hear him hammering. He's gonna he's gonna like try to blow up the planet before he teleports. You always moon in movies that sometimes in the turns of a horror movie? That would be that would be really interesting, actually, yeah. I like that idea. Cause usually when movies do the like a cross, they kinda just combine it, but it would be neat if it just sh transitioned. Um, all right. I have to take another break. I feel like we could be at the end, so I'm going to keep playing. Um, but I just need a couple minutes. So see you in a second.
got some more tea ready to go and uh, and I and I just realized he told us to go to the bleeder my hair is all staticky um, it, he told us to go to the bleeder but he, he didn't tell us how so we still don't know how to get to the bleeder let's ask him Um, hold on. So maybe, oh my god, it's like, it's like, uh, I've stuck my hand in electric, hair in electricity. So, so maybe we just turn off the power to it, which we can do in the junkyard. Um, We still haven't used the numbers from the sub. We still haven't solved the um, the Russian puzzle. But I still like I like the idea that that's not a puzzle at all. That it's just a red herring. Jesus Christ! I need to like wet my hair. It's ridiculous. Um, six, seven, eight. Three was the numbers from the sub. So I'm going to try to see if we could just turn off the power to the bleeder. Even though we can't get over there. I think we have ways to, to deal with power. Um. I'm going to take uh, a, like more screenshots with, of this. Now that we uh, aren't in the dark with the... Okay, the RI, these are the crazy things with three... Barnacle, Beetle, and Polyarch. The wait, the Polyarchs are immobile? That's pretty gross. I'm not sure if we've seen any of those. All right, so the Villain are the... Um... Dudes with three arms. Oh, four. Gotcha, okay. All right. Good deal. So does this make more sense now? It does. So Soria is on Earth, and Earth is on Soria. I guess. Um, okay. So here's the bleeder, and I don't you know. So there's that red cable. I think that's the plunger, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, okay. I want to say that if we go to the junkyard, there's a fuse box. <clears throat>
I guess it's on the other side of that. I don't don't feel like that's right, but I can believe that it is. Problem is, I don't really know of a way to check other than going and talking to CW. Like, was this doing something before? I I thought I saw some stuff going on at the top, but it's. Uh, intermittent. Sounds like it's making a lot of noise. Probably have to go over there. Looks like there are um, some lobsters up on the tower. Um, look at that. <laughs> it's like sticking to my face. It must be really uh, dry air or something. There's a notebook somewhere about about the bleeder, because I remember it telling uh, people not to swim. There it is. There it is. It's still doing something. It's probably going to have to find that uh, that entrance and turn it off. <clears throat> How? No idea. It is suspicious that we can turn this off, though. Why would they let us turn it off? Reminds me of old sci-fi stories. Uh, like, like what in particular? The aesthetic, the It's strange that you can turn this off. I feel like a lot of the levers in this game, you can't turn back once they're in the right position. So I'm just going to turn it off. Um, even though, you know, because like what do we need the power on the gas station for? Wasn't your genre? Um...
what do you prefer instead of science fiction? Science fact? Gotcha. Lovecraft is maybe not science fiction, but it's certainly like a science fantasy, right? There's lobsters all over this thing. Horror fantasy. Let's take a quick peek, see if the bleeder stuff is here. Oh yeah, this is the one I couldn't even read. Um, I did not know. I know that uh, um, shit, I, I can't even remember his name. Um, Wagner. Wagner was racist as well. I mean, I guess a lot of people were, to be fair. A lot of people still are, sadly. Okay, so uh, as, as far as I know, we can't get back up here. I think because we turned the waterfall off, this thing has no power. You can't even pull the handle. Um, okay, so uh, this is probably stupid, but we, we did turn off the power. We're right here. We might as well check to see if that did it. I don't think it did. But... Avon calling. Whoa. Blow up, the blade, blade, will you? Blow it up? Well, why didn't you say so to begin with? Jesus. I know how to blow it up. Let's just hit that plunger. Um. He, he said to disable it. And, um. And so I thought, oh, we have to turn the power off. We have to go and hit a 
console, turn a turn a switch. Now he says blow it up. Well, ah, okay, I think I can blow it up. <clears throat> Finally, we get an explosion. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Um, but I feel like if if there were another solution, we would have been hinted. It would have been hinted. Um, now maybe maybe the game is just really uh, subtle, and we were supposed to figure something out, but. Like another person saying, oh no, you should do this. I wish we could have woken up Farley. All right. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We've decided to blow up Megaton. They give you they give you a great fucking view of it to make sure that their uh, CGI budget didn't go to waste. <laughs> didn't do anything. Um. So. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back to thinking that we do have to go over there, and we do have to do something, like hook up the wire to the explosives. But for sure, we know that this red wire connects over there. Because wouldn't it be strange that we have to blow it up before we ever went over there? So this is usually at over here. I can't I can't read it, but it's usually over here. But we turned off one of the switches. And now it's higher. Maybe we maybe need full power. We can't throw the other switch, but uh, maybe I can go back to the train and turn that off. Uh, but I feel like that's kind of weird. I, I, I'd imagine that it would be indicated a different way, but I don't know. Um, wait. So... Go out here. 
this is one of the first, if not the first, puzzle we really solved. Is we um, turn this thing on. I can't move it. Well, that's disappointing. I can't seem to turn it off. It lets you grab it, but you can't do anything with it. Um, Can't move this anymore. Yeah, I can't move. See, I can't turn this um, the side off. So. Okay, I, I think I know where we need to go. We need to go back into town, and there's a um, there's this big tower. I, and I, I never understood it, and I don't really understand it now. There's just this tower, and I don't know what it does, but we hooked something up. I think we have to unhook it. Um, but I literally do not know what it does, because it never seemed to do anything for us. I like to imagine that those big, uh, those big teal balls, you see them in the distance, that they're just giant pieces of fruit. And uh, they taste really good, like, like Starburst or something. Yeah, so this thing is probably it, but I, I don't know what it does. But it's easy to disable, so that's what we're going to do. Everything still keeps humming along. Blueberry ice cream? Is that a real thing? That does sound good. So I had a I had some mango ice cream. Uh, in Chinatown recently. And I thought it was going to be like a mango sorbet, but it was just pieces of mango. It was really good. I mean, I guess that's it. I, I have no clue. Wait, what's this? The hell is this? Huh. So, uh, we went here early in the game to, to change the river. But the barrier! Oh, I forgot about this! Ah! This is this is um this is how you get to the bleeder. Just letting you guys know. This is how you get to the bleeder. 
um, in case you ever wanted to uh, to go to the bleeder. This is how you do it. I cannot. Okay. I cannot believe that I forgot about it. One, because when I saw it the first time, I didn't think they were important. And two, I never saw that door that opened it up. Why? <sighs> Whatever. All right. Hello. Just, just close that back up. Um, is that all that's there to do here? What's a, what's a black current? I know what a. Never mind. You know, we never found that thing that was in the water. Um, there was like a green triangle that was in the water, and we never found it. I, I guess at this point, it was probably a geometry bug, but... Oh, thanks, Joey. Your prediction was wrong. I wonder if we... Act so, okay, here's... We may have had to do both of those things. So when we go up there, we'll see if the power is at 100. And if the power is at 100, maybe we had to do both of those things. Um, it, don't, uh, don't feel any pressure to cheer. It's, it's just how I feed my starving family. <laughs> but seriously, you don't have to cheer. Uh, successful. Um, all right, we want to go back up the tower. Be right back, tell me what happens. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, it's better. It's better. It may not be everything, but it's definitely better. I wish he had just have said blow it up to begin with. Like, that's not a whole lot of instruction. Well, the power level didn't change. So. And all the others are the 100. Boy, Joey. I live alone. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I'm just kidding. My starving family is, uh, well, they starved. So. Three, two, one. Contact. Oh, God. That looks terrible. <laughs> Oh, he's in a cart.
I feel like this is not what we're supposed to do. But I've always felt that like that, so. Carvin chance. <laughs> Got an achievement called Scattered Seeds. This looks like another planet entirely. Let me off of this crazy thing! Am I supposed to be looking at something? Uh oh. Oh, we got the bad ending. We got the bad ending. Clearly. Uh. We didn't get back to Earth. So I think, I think there was this theme that like, whoever brought these part pieces of this uh, different planets saved the people that were, they were extracting, like they were about to die. And, um, and maybe the idea was that they were going to be used to save something else, right? There was this, I don't know, there was some, some things about it. Well, I know, I'm just kidding, Thale. I'm just kidding. Um, it's, it's bad because we didn't get back to Earth. But, um, but I think the idea is these four cultures are going to somehow help each other. Special thanks to Neil Patrick Harris? What did he do? Um, Subtrain stuck at Bones Milan. Patrick Harris tweeted at the Kickstarter. 
Um, why, why do you say that? I forgot better. Did you subscribe? I don't see any subscriptions. Oh my god, that's a lot of backers. Sorry, Joey. I mean, we can tell you what happened, but uh, we couldn't wait around forever. <laughs> there was a you missed you missed so much. There was a sex scene, and and we got a gun. still hate us. They tried to kill us. We saved the Mofang. Isn't that gonna be... Isn't that kind of weird? Also, why are they ordered by first name? That's really strange. <laughs> you can tell uh, you can tell your dad you missed uh, you missed the ending. You've been watching 15 hours and just because of him you missed the ending. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean if to me it feels a little unresolved. Aren't didn't the Mofang attack and try to kill everybody who was who were going into stasis? Yeah, I think we saved the Mofang. Because they're the they're the lava planet. Absolutely. Yeah, we saved all four planets. Yeah, true. We took a sphere of their home planet, yeah. But that sphere. Uh personally, I'd like to read about it, but I guess. I guess you can say, at, at this point, I think you can say whatever you want, yeah. Can I play part of this before? I don't have a save file. It's just, um, uh, I mean, Joey, this, it's recorded, right? So you can just go on to Twitch and, and watch the end of the video. Twitch has videos. It's, it's, it'll, it'll be there if it's not um, there now. And you can get all the wonderful commentary that we all provided when we when we beat the game. I saw Earth. Uh, I mean, we were on Earth on the other side of Mofang. If that's what you mean, there's a lot of freaking people here. Uh, partnership? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about me being a affiliate? I'm I'm not a partner, just an affiliate. This is insane how many people are in this credits. I've wanted to let them go out of like respect. But um it's it's longer even than the uh, than the music. Hey, I forgot better. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, and it even updated on screen. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we're rolling in the D's. Rolling in the D's. Is it just cycling? I feel like I feel like this is a puzzle, and the solution is to hit back. Um, <laughs> I 
All right. I think I think we've seen I think we've seen enough names. Basically, everyone who's ever lived helped make this game. Um, all right, that's it for abduction. We made it through. I'm so proud of all of you for being um, for being so good and not and not spoiling things. It's it's been really fun. Um, you you can you can continue to stay in chat, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the stream. But the chat the chat remains. Um, so thank you everybody, and thank you I forgot better for the sub. Um, you you rock. All right, catch you next time.